Happy Memorial Day, everyone. I'm Kate Costa with New Venture Mentor, and this is your weekly dose of entrepreneurship news. There was a lot going on in Washington this past week. First up, the House of Representatives passed eight bills related to small business and federal government contracting. Provisions include raising the government's yearly small business contracting goal from 23% to 25%, improved advocacy for small businesses throughout the contracting process, enhanced oversight to prevent large companies from manipulating the system, limits and an improved appeals process for contract bundling and more opportunity for small businesses to team to win big contracts, and the condensing of oversight of the 13 separate mentor-protege programs under the SBA. However, all of the measures are attached to a defense spending bill that President Obama has threatened to veto. The President does not like the proposed Pentagon budget included in the bill and has called the small business contracting goal laudable but overly ambitious. Even if the small business provisions in the bill did make it through unscathed, it's hard to tell how big an impact they would actually have. After all, a small business contracting goal is just a goal and the Feds generally don't meet it now, even at the lower 23%. The Senate also got in the game, introducing legislation referred to as the Startup Act 2.0. It's a bit of a mashup, including provisions that would allow foreigners who received advanced science, technology, engineering, or math degrees in the U.S., as well as foreigners who start new companies here in the U.S., to get green cards. Making long-term investments in startups permanently tax exempt acceleration of university research and development commercialization programs, tax credits for company R&D, and a requirement that government agencies conduct a cost-benefit analysis of the effects on small business of any new rules with an economic impact of $100 million or more. Whether or not this legislation can get passed when touching on divisive issues like immigration is another story, but at least someone in the Capitol is forcing a discussion on small business. The ability for highly educated and entrepreneurially minded foreigners to stay in the country is addressed again in the Sustaining Our Most Advanced Researchers and Technology or SMART Jobs Act of 2012 that creates a new category of green card, doesn't count towards any existing green card limits, and would allow these STEM educated immigrants to stay in the country. Back over at the House of Representatives, the Small Business Committee hearing on U.S. trade strategy for small business exporters did not create too much flattering conversation about the assistance provided for small exporters. A small business owner testified that the lack of a central place to get information and the constant changes to regulation make exporting a nightmare for small businesses and can prove to be prohibitively costly. He suggested that the government create one central place where a small business is able to get all of the export information that it needs, from tariffs to embargoes to other regulations, country by country. When Miriam Sapiro, Deputy U.S. Trade Representative, was asked at the same hearing where a small business should turn for export assistance, she suggested getting in touch with your local small business development center. However, according to the small businesses present, the SBDCs simply don't have enough experience in exporting to give the support necessary to small businesses facing the problems described. And finally, the General Services Administration has announced that the System for Awards Management, the new system that's going to replace the CCR, ORCA, and other government contracting registration sites, will not go live until the end of July, though the CCR has already been taken off offline for updates as of May 23rd, because the SAM was supposed to go live this Wednesday. Now, I doubt there are many people that are surprised that this project isn't going to get completed on time, but hopefully it won't cause too many problems for small businesses during the transition period. That's it for this week's entrepreneurship news. Remember to let the SEC know what you think about how they should implement the JOBS Act and follow me on Twitter or subscribe to this channel to get more entrepreneurship news as well as tips, tricks, and tutorials to help your small business grow. Mm -hmm.